speaking for Uganda, brethren. The time has come. We prayed enough. We fasted enough. This time round, the anointing will fall upon you. Whatever you've been looking for will be just before you. The person you wanted. Let me tell you a story. Me, I was raised Anglican. So I didn't know these things. Two of my brothers have been into some Pentecostal churches. David and, uh, and, and John. But John stick to the Anglican. David went and to, to visit us. And he could come and tell us. The Lord will host us. I said, okay. Pray, 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 pray. I said, okay. Okay. So when the Lord told me to go to the U.S. in 1983. In 1983, February 23rd. I had no passport. I had nothing. I had nothing. I didn't know where I was going. But my brother David had talked about a man called Seruro. And he told us stories about Seruro. And he said he's in San Diego. He's a man, miracle signs and wonders. And I was listening. I was good at listening. And taking notes. So I said maybe I need to go see that man. Because at that time my brother was in Luzira. He used to preach at Marire Barracks. Here. So the night he preached, that Sunday night, Sunday he preached and prophesied, warning soldiers that I see fire coming here and I see many people die. It is coming from Lubaga, Mango, everything. I had a dream. He was telling them. He used to preach. 1983. So that Sunday night, he preached. It was 1982. The army of Kaira and Rukaira attacked the Lubiri barracks. They put their motors on Lubaga, Mengo, and they were sharing the, the barracks. Many soldiers died. But they ran off. So this place became a Beirut. Soldiers came out and started killing people all the way to Kasubi everywhere. So they say, you know, this preacher man told about it. He must be a muyekera. So they went in Nakulabi in Chiyindi. They caught him, took him to Luzira. As a, as a muyekera. <laughs> so he's already in jail. And I said, okay, now what, 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 where am I going? God is telling me to move. Brothers and sisters, a lady comes to be prayed for. She had issues. She said, please pray for me. I may be arrested. I, I fear for my life. They think I've been, uh, I've been working with, uh, with, with the rebels. And I told him even my brother. So I prayed for her. And, um, and then instead of being arrested, she was confirmed. So she came to give a testimony. We used to have a lunch, our fellowship. On William Street. William Street. My brother used to have a lunch first. So the lady comes. She finds me. She said, Hey, you told me you have a prayer, a prayer here. I, I want to think to tell you that your prayer works. You pray the simple prayer and it works. They have confirmed in my position. And I said, they have what do you do? She said, I'm a passport control office. They used to give passports. Passport. The office was at where there is now um, Stambik Bank. You know that, that blue building. Underneath there. That's where the passport control office was. So I said, I have no passport. She said, come tomorrow. Come with photos. I'll give you a passport. So I, I, I get a passport. In two days, people were waiting for years. Mine came in two days. Express. 
Whatever you wanted. After this anointing, you are going to arrive to it. It will be yours. And so, after that, I said, Lord, I have a passport. I said, I need to go to America. They say, you need a visa. So I woke up in the morning. In our days, if we wanted something, you take seven days. Or three days. Dry. Or seven days. Or 21 days. When it's done. For example, if I come to you and I said I need this and you said no, I take 21 days of fasting for you. Then I return. By the time I return, you'll accept without knowing you think how did we come to this level <laughs> once I talk to God and he tells me I've given it to you and I come to you no Ghana. and you refuse I take seven days dry and for you I leave the bed and I go down I stop eating and drinking and I cry unto God if you're the one to give it to you me, give it to me. If you're not the one to give it to In me, seven days they fire you and put somebody to give it to me. That's how we live. That's how we knew. We knew some services. We knew some services. You'd pray for people. What woman? There's a gentleman called Sidi Twaula. He was in town of town clerk or Kampala or Kampala town clerk or something. Now to come and see, He told us, "I've driven you out of the city. Go." You make a lot of noise. I told the brethren, we had a wailing wall right there. We went right there. We put these eviction notices for nine days. In nine days, he was fired. He was fired or he resigned.